Welcome to Lancashire Witchy Crafts Projects. The project we are going to make today is a Christmas Angel. The equipment you will need to complete this kit is a piece of kitchen paper, a pair of scissors, a ruler and some glue. You can use fabric glue, PVA glue and, or any sort of glue apart from paper glue that won't stick too well. Open the packet of beads and sort the beads into sizes and frosted or clear. I tend to use a piece of coloured card because it makes it easier just to see the beads or you can use a plate or anything. You might want to pause the machine now so that you can sort your beads. Once you've sorted your beads we'll just do a quick count to make sure you've got sufficient numbers. You should have five large snowflake beads Should have 10 medium sized snowflake beads, you should have 12 tiny snowflake beads, one frosted large bead, two small frosted beads, 11 large crystal beads, 48 very tiny crystal beads and one diamond shaped bead. You should also have five pre-cut pipe cleaners. So we're going to start here in the middle of the body and then we'll work down to create the skirt. Take your five pipe cleaners and put them together. You need to then take your crystal diamond bead and you're going to thread all five pipe cleaners through the crystal bead. If you've got small edges on your pipe cleaners, just trim a little bit off and that will help them to go through the bead. five pipe cleaners and your diamond crystal bead and you're going to push all five pipe cleaners through the crystal bead. You might want to twist as you go so that you can move the pipe cleaners along the bead. You need to take your ruler a measure from the bottom of this bead to the end of your pipe cleaner and you need that distance to be approximately two inches or five centimeters. It doesn't matter if you slightly go over the the mark, a little bit is better than less. Next, open out your pipe cleaners and we're going to start to make the skirt. We're going to work on one pipe cleaner at a time and we'll work to the bottom of that pipe cleaner and then we'll start the next one. So take one of the small crystal beads 
push along the pipe cleaner right to the end of the diamond bead. You then take one of the larger crystal beads and thread that so that it sits up against the small bead. Next, take two of the small snowflake beads and place those on the same pipe cleaner. And you'll notice with the snowflake beads that they nestle together and interlock. So just for a recap, you should have one small crystal bead, one larger crystal bead, and two snowflakes. Two small snowflakes. You then have two medium-sized snowflakes. followed by one large snowflake bead. So we'll do another recap. One small crystal, one larger crystal, two small snowflake, two medium snowflake, and one large snowflake. And finally, you take one of your small crystal beads and place that on the end of the pipe cleaner after your last large snowflake. And that's the skirt completed for that piece. Just bend your pipe cleaner out of the way so that your beads don't fall off and then we're going to start the next one. And the process is exactly the same. So it's a small crystal A larger crystal bead, two small snowflake, two medium sized snowflake. one large snowflake followed by one small crystal bead. So just to recap, one small crystal, one larger crystal bead, two snowflakes, small snowflakes, two medium sized snowflakes, one large snowflake and finally a small crystal bead and just bend your pipe cleaner to the side. Turn your pipe cleaners and the next one will do exactly the same again. So it's one small crystal bead, one larger crystal bead, two small snowflakes, two medium sized snowflakes, one large snowflake, and finish with a small crystal bead. Then bend the pipe cleaner to the side. So just as a quick check that you've got the right amount of beads on each piece of pipe cleaner, they should all be the same length. Turn your pipe cleaners and we're going to do the fourth one. Small crystal bead followed by a larger crystal bead, two 
two small snowflake. Two medium snowflake. One large snowflake. And finally, a small crystal. And bend the pipe cleaner around. And then finally, we'll do the last pipe cleaner. So it's a small crystal, a larger crystal bead. Two small snowflake, two medium snowflake, one large snowflake, and finally a small crystal bead. And that's the skirt. Don't worry about these pipe cleaners because we're going to sort those out at the end and glue them. So if we look at our completed item, that's our body and we've done the five parts of the skirt. So the next part we're going to work on is the head and the halo. So we're going to do the head and the halo. So separate your pipe cleaners so that you've got two to each side and one in the middle. And we're going to work on the one in the middle. So take your large frosted bead and place that onto the pipe cleaner and push it down towards the two arms. You're then going to take eight small crystal beads and place those on your pipe cleaner. your eight small crystal beads. The next thing you're going to do is just form these into a ring and twist the two pieces of the pipe cleaner together just below your first bead. You can now cut off this extra pipe cleaner. And then you can fold the halo in place. So I've now made the body, the skirt, the head and the halo. The next thing we're going to make are the wings. Now we're going to make the wings. So where you've got two pipe cleaners at each side, just take the top one of each one and bend them up slightly. We're going to work on one wing at a time and we're going to place 12 small crystal beads onto the pipe cleaner.
do a quick counter check. So you've got 12 small crystal beads. You're then going to take the pipe cleaner and just bend the pipe cleaner so that your first and last bead are together. Take the pipe cleaner over the top of itself so that it nestles next to the first bead and do a couple of twists of the wing. So you've still got a small piece left at the back. You can shape the wings afterwards. The next part we're going to do is to add two small crystal beads and one large crystal bead and that's the wing completed for that side now I'm going to start on the wing on the opposite side. I just want to mention that sometimes you get beads and they have little bits of plastic stuck on. Just peel those off and your bead will be fine. So we're going to do exactly the same again for our next wing. We're going to place 12 small crystal beads onto the pipe cleaner We're going to do the same again, so you're going to bend the pipe cleaner so that the two first and last beads sit together. Take the pipe cleaner over the top of, the, of itself next to the first bead and twist the wing a couple of times to hold it in place. And then to finish the wing, you need two small crystal beads and one large crystal bead and that's the wing complete. If we just have a look at our finished product. There's the wings that we've just done. And now we're going to do her arms. We're now going to work on the hands. So take one pipe cleaner and you're going to add two large crystal beads. One small crystal bead one small snowflake and finish with a small frosted bead and that's the arm I'm going to move to the next pipe cleaner and do exactly the same. So it's two 
large crystal beads. One small. One small snowflake. And you should just have one frosted bead left. If you have any extra of the small beads, just do a quick check that you've got small beads on the ends. But it may well be that there's just a spare bead. So what we're going to do now is we're going to trim her hands. And just leave a little bit at the end, so probably about a centimetre at the end of the pipe cleaner. And then just trim that away. Same on the other side. Now you're going to need to start and glue. So take your piece of kitchen paper And I'm just going to start on each hand. I'm going to move the last bead a little bit along so that you've got some gap. And then I'm going to add some glue. Push your bead tight against the next bead and then do the same on the other arm. So move bead slightly, add some glue and then we're going to do the same on each of the skirt pieces. So each pipe cleaner Move the small bead at the end, just along a little bit, add some glue and push the bead into place. Don't worry if you get some little strings of glue because they'll come off afterwards once it's dried. And repeat that for all five pipe cleaners on the skirt. Finally, this will be a little bit fiddly because you don't tend to have very much room at the end of the wings, but just move the large bead a little bit, add some glue and slot back into place. And the same on the opposite wing. into place. Leave your angel to dry and once the glue is all dry just trim the extra pipe cleaners off the angel and then you can rearrange so the, the halo and the hands all sit where you want and you can play around with the wings to get them in the right position. And this is your final item once I've trimmed all the pipe cleaners and rearranged the halo. All you need to do now is that the angel will stand 
or you can put a small piece of thread around the bottom of her halo and you can hang her on a tree.